in this video, I'd like to show you exactly how to do this assignment right here, improve pre-assessment with nouns. Before I open this assignment, I want to take a look at the rubric. This is the rubric I'm going to use to grade you. Uh, if we take a look at three, three is an A. So that's what we're trying to get. So there are two parts of this assignment as stated in the directions. The first thing that you need to do is go through your paper and look for three proper nouns that you did not capitalize. Now some people, when they wrote this pre-assessment, they remembered that every proper noun needs to be capitalized. So if you've looked through your paper and you've noticed that all your proper nouns are capitalized, then you do not need to do this section. You automatically get an A. My suggestion, however, is even if you think you are good at capitalizing all proper nouns, I suggest that you reread your paper just to make certain that they all are actually capitalized. So this is step one, as detailed in the directions on the assignment. Once that you have corrected three proper nouns and made sure they're capitalized, then you can move on to step two, which is this one right here. Step two involves finding three general or common or boring nouns and making them vivid or specific. This could either be by technically adding an adjective to your noun. Uh, it could be by completely changing your noun, or it could be by looking for nouns that are repeated that you could change a few of them. So now that we've looked at this rubric, let's go back to our Google Classroom assignment and show you how, it's, how I need you to do this. Uh, so first of all, of course, we're going to click open. Uh, most of you guys were able to attach your pre-assessment to this assignment. However, if you weren't able to do that, uh, if you don't see anything right here, uh, the first thing you would need to do is click on Add, then you click Google Drive, and then you're going to find something called Writing Pre-Assessment. So notice this is mine right here. I would click on it and then click Add. And after a few seconds, your writing pre-assessment will appear. Then you're going to click on it. And this is where we're going to complete this assignment. So remember, the first step to this assignment is to look through our paper and look for at least three nouns that are proper nouns that need to be capitalized. So as I read through my paper, I come to my first proper noun that needs to be capitalized. Now, I don't want to fix it in this paper. This is very important. Because if you fix it in the paper, I won't be able to see that you're fixing it. So this is the important part. Instead of fixing it in your paper, you need to insert a comment. To insert a comment, you hold down your shift key. And while you hold down your shift key, you're going to push your arrow key. Notice how it is highlighting it in blue. Also notice when you hold down your shift key, notice how this little icon appears right here. This icon, if you click it with your mouse, will insert a comment. So my next job is I'm going to rewrite Americanized, except this time I'm going to make sure it has a capital letter, and then I'm going to click comment. So I, I found one proper noun that needs to be capitalized. I'm going to read through my paper, see if I can find another one, and I run across Tarsius. Tarsius is a specific name, therefore it's a proper noun, it needs to be capitalized. So I held down my shift key, and then I pushed on my right arrow key. Notice how it's highlighted in blue. Click on the comment, and now I'm going to rewrite it with a capital letter. And click comment. I'm going to do this one more time. Of course, I already found another noun that is proper. It needs to be capitalized. This is a specific noun. Uh, hold down my shift key. Click my right arrow. Click on the icon. And I'm going to rewrite this name with a capital B. All right, so I took care of my first step. My next step, and this is the tougher part, my next step is to go through this paper and look for three general nouns that either I can add to it, change it, or look for nouns that I repeat a lot. So as I'm looking through my paper, I'm looking for a general noun, and I did find one right down here, something. Something is very vague, doesn't have a whole lot of description, so again, I'm going to 
Hodama shift key, Hodama arrow key. Notice how I highlight it. I'm going to click add. And I'm thinking of a word that would work better than something here. So it says many times when something is prepared with haste, the flavor is not as good. I'm going to change this to, to food. Notice how food is a simple word, but it does make this a lot more descriptive. Remember, I'm trying to find three cases, so I'm, I found one. I need to find two more. As I look through this paper, I do notice that I am using food a lot. I have food here. Um, I also have food here. The, the new word that I changed would be food. Uh, so there's two foods here. And a lot of people, I notice, when you wrote your paper, there are many more than two foods. Uh, if you find yourself using food or a certain word a lot, it is time to change it to something. Uh, let's pretend I want to change. But this one I can't really change. Okay. And neither, I really don't want to change this one either. So two isn't too bad. But when I do look through my paper, uh, notice how I use sauce a lot. I have sauce here. I have sauce here. I have sauce here. Uh, I've used it three times. That's a lot in one paragraph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to click the comment. And I would like to come up with a word that is different than sauce. Now, if I can't think of anything, this is where Google comes in, I'm going to type in thesaurus in Google. And in this little search box, I'm going to type in sauce. And I'm going to see what the thesaurus recommends. Now, sometimes the thesaurus can uh, be disappointing. Uh, I mean, some of this would work, uh, dip, topping. Uh, so sometimes if the source works well, other times it doesn't, but it's always worth a try. And of course, there's always more than the first the source that appears. You could click on this one and uh, type in sauce. Uh, this Notice how our, our address is Merriam-Webster, so that's definitely a reputable, uh, reputable site. Uh, yeah, it looks like I misspelled that, so that kind of helps me spell things correctly. Again, notice our, our options. When I think about what I really mean here, mild sauce um, or Mexican sauce, I'm really thinking salsa would work better here. It's more descriptive, and it's definitely a different word than sauce. Okay, I'm two down. And I need to find one more word that I can improve by making it more specific. Notice how I have good. Good is not a real descriptive word. Uh, let's see if we can find something that would, would fit better. Uh, many times when something is prepared with haste, the flavor is not as good. I'm going to put not as tasty. That's a little bit more descriptive. This is another case, though, where I could Google this good and see if I can find a different word that would work better. So notice I have I fixed three proper nouns by making sure they're capitalized. And I took three nouns that were general and common, and I made them specific. So I met all the requirements of this paper. Uh, just a couple more things I'd like to go over before we end this video. Uh, one thing I'd like to say is if you put a comment in that you don't really want, let's say I changed my mind, I think good is OK, you can click resolve, the comment goes away. And I'm going to undo that because I do want to keep that. Or actually, I'm just going to insert it again. Let's uh, say that you have a comment that you insert, but you'd like to change it. You'd like to add to it, change it. If you want to change a comment, click on these three bars here, click Edit, and then you can change anything in here. So notice how I misspelled that. I, I, I actually saw that. I want to change that. Click Save. That's done. Also notice that if you scroll all the way up, which I can't, uh, you're not going to see some of these comments. Click on where it's highlighted, and the comment will drop down. If you have any questions, please send me an email or stop in and see me, and I'll be happy to help you complete this assignment.